Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about a new topic performing the diplopia charting test. Let us now understand the prerequisites required for performing the diplopia charting test. Patient preparation. Explain to the patient about the test because it's a method in which the subjective deviation is recorded by asking the subject to quantify the separation between the double images. The patient is prescribed proper refractive prescription to avoid any blurring of vision during the diplopia charting test. There is a requirement for the red green glasses during the test. This test is repeated in all the nine cardinal positions of gaze. The test can be performed after taking the detailed history from the patient related to the diplopia. Example: Is the diplopia monocular or binocular? History of the onset of diplopia. Frequency: Duration from which it is experienced, and the time of the day when the diplopia is worst, etc. Diplopia chart method. How is the test performed? Patient is asked to wear red green diplopia charting goggles normally red glass in front of the right eye and green in front of the left eye the patient is made to sit with his or her head straight in a semi dark room and is shown a fine linear light from a distance of 4 feet first in the primary position the light is then moved from the primary position into all of other eight directions of gaze Patient is asked to indicate position of diplopic image such as the horizontal displacement the vertical displacement and the tilting of images in each position of gaze the patient is asked to use his or her hands to show the positioning the tilting and the separation of the images seen for each position of gaze The patient is also asked to comment on the brightness and the separation between the red and green images. Patient is questioned about diplopia in all nine positions of gaze. While plotting the diplopic fields of patients, the examiner should look for the following from the patient's comments: whether horizontal diplopia is homonymous or heteronymous. whether the image seen by the right eye that is the red image is higher or lower than the image seen by the left eye that is the green image or vice versa in which direction of gaze separation between the red and the green image is greatest whether there are any directions in which the fusion is present three points to be remembered by the examiner are Results are always recorded on a grid depicting nine positions of gaze. Results are recorded as if the examiner is the patient that is from left to right. Important to record which image represents which eye. Red image belongs to the right eye with the red goggle. Distance of separation between the images. Any tilt of image patient notices. position where maximum separation occurs it is important to remember the pair of yoke muscles acting in different gaze positions overacting muscle in the gaze having maximum separation between the images deviating eye the image that appears furthest away belongs to the deviating eye position of images will be in opposite direction to the position of the deviated eye example hyper deviation image is lower hypo deviation image is higher torsional deviation when torsion is present torsion is greatest in the position where secondary action of the vertical muscles take place paralyzed muscle the image is displaced in the direction of action of the paralyzed muscle